The recovery of the Remus 6000 AUV begins when the AUV leaves the bottom at over 5,000 meters. Okay, up on the bridge, this is the lab. Uh, the vehicle is on the way up, It'll be on the surface in 15 minutes. In the ops center, team leader Greg Packard has already noted the approximate time when the vehicle should be on the surface. So up on the bridge, the uh, vehicle is on the surface. The uh, satellite calls come in. We can go ahead and uh, move more towards the recovery. Finding the Remus on the surface is a bit more difficult during daylight recovery since sun glare and sea state often masks the low profile of the yellow torpedo-shaped hull. On the bridge, all eyes scan the horizon while Greg gives a specific heading to intercept Remus. Okay, thank you very much. Looks good. So now we start proceeding to the beach. Coordination with the ship is primarily important in this. This ship has been very, very good. They know exactly what we want. Okay, the vehicle should be 800 meters now, just in front of us. Looks really small from up here. Yep. It's important that the ship maintain some safe distance until the vehicle is on the surface. As the ship approaches Remus, the Huey team, Christopher Greiner, Neil McPhee, and Mark Dennett. Okay, roger that. Uh, deck is standing by. Along with Tom Detweiler and Joe Litchfield, prepare the necessary lines to safely bring the vehicle back to the LARS, or Launch and Recovery System. Maneuvering the Mermaid Vigilance and coordinating with the aft recovery team is a delicate dance of seamanship. Once the AUV is a beam, Captain Noe moves to the aft operating station to delicately maneuver the ship into position. Greg will join the deck team to operate the remote control for Remus. Take it easy. Although the vehicle has a workable propeller on the surface, it's no match for strong currents. Bridge, if we can start coming slowly forward. And... and Greg's control is primarily used to finesse Remus into a position for Neil to launch the initial grappling hook. You guys like that distance? The shot is true, and Remus can now be carefully brought aft and connected to the Lars recovery line. Once safely aboard, the AUV is secured to the Lars, washed down, and put safely into its air-conditioned container to download the mission data and prepare for the next dive.